In this demonstration, you'll learn typical volume meshing processes starting from a conformal connected surface mesh and ending at a good quality tetrahedral mesh with inflation layers. The T-junction model has been checked to repair geometry issues resulting in a well-defined surface mesh on four solids and three caps. The volumetric regions bounded by the face zones are identified. An explicit material point is not necessarily required. Each volumetric region will comprise a cell zone in the finished volume mesh. First, check the volumetric regions for suitable name, type, and so on. The internal region should be renamed to something more suitable. and its type should be fluid. Accessing the Diagnostics panel using the context menu restricts its impact to the selected object, zone, or region. In this example, a small radius difference between two pipe sections results in a step. The step width parameter is set to half the minimum mesh size. More than 400 issues are identified, but all are related to the small radius difference. The step can easily be removed using automated tools. Redraw the affected region to see the result. Check the surface mesh. The skewness is sufficient to inflate the volume mesh, but since the change occurred, it should be remeshed. Scope sizing is used so that it can be applied to specific objects in the model. Set a smaller maximum size. A normal angle. Apply the new size settings to all mesh object faces and edges. Compute the new sizes and close the dialog box. Redraw the full model. Select all visible face zones and remesh all using the new size field. Recheck the mesh. The skewness is improved and the face count is much smaller. The hotkey Ctrl T Ctrl C activates size contours to show mesh refinement in proximity regions. The good quality surface mesh bounding the fluid region can now be inflated. Prisms should be grown on the interior walls of the pipes to capture boundary layer physics. The Scoped Prisms dialog box is used to set prism growth parameters, as well as link the prism growth to specific objects, regions, and boundary types. Default settings are used for the remainder of the volume fill. Cell zones are separated from the volumetric regions to allow quick volume remesh without the need to redefine the volumetric regions. The volume mesh is created in five zones, one for each pipe section plus the interior fluid region. Select a node to locate a cross section through the middle of the junction. Use the Display Grid dialog box to examine the volume mesh. Select all cells and enable the bounded view. Notice the inflation layers along the pipe walls in the fluid zone and tetrahedral mesh through the remainder. The mesh statistics should be checked before switching to solution mode. Be sure to save your work. This concludes this demonstration of typical volume meshing processes.